Yuri glances across the room at Sayori and Natsuki. Sayori has her head popped back at her mouth open, trying to catch pieces of a cookie that Natsuki is loving into the air. But the pieces keep bouncing off her face and hitting the floor. Maybe I should say something. No need, they just ran out of cookie. What a waste. Right, Sayori? Whatever you say, Jerry Tater. Oh, come on. Sayori, I actually like Jerry's. I was just saying that to help demonstrate. What the heck? I've been duped. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sayori. I'll make it up to you later. What from cherry ice cream? Oh, what a cherry sun. <laughs> I cream. I, 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 I. I mean. You are welcome to dupe me anytime, my beloved president. But I always got the impression that you secretly looked down upon me. So I'm glad my suspicions were confirmed. So you want to say that Yuri is so And it is what I just... I know that I will get it hurt by myself because no. Because no. Yuri glances at the clock. We're almost out of time. Will you be able to finish? Before the end of the day, probably. But I want to come to the club the same day that Natsuki reads it. I'm too shy. I can give it to her instead if you like. Yuri nods. As long as you promise not to read it. Of course, I promise. Yes, we begin the last. It's only been one day since Yuri's letter was delivered to Natsuki with Monica's help. Because Yuri chose not to attend the club meeting that day, she and Natsuki haven't faced each other since. Although it's only lunchtime, Yuri finds herself an anxiously counting the hours until she will need to face the outcome of her efforts, whether good or bad. And because the passing by of the students was making her feel even more anxious, Yuri picked out the most secluded spot she could find to spend her lunch. Of course, the staircase. Because this staircase is under maintenance, no student would have any reason for coming here. It's such a relaxing feeling to have a moment of solitude in the middle of a frantic school day. Eh? Eh? What are you doing here? Um, I just... By the way, I would totally recommend finding some friends online, if you haven't already. If you're like me and have no one to share your hobbies with... with. Oh, I have online friends. Wait, what? You have online? You... Hey? Since middle school, actually, I was especially desperate, desperate back then. It's somewhat embarrassing to remind about those days. Sometimes I feel like the me from a few years ago would have benefited from a good smack across the face. I would like to see middle school, you in now. Oh, whatever. Me, we're all just stupid kids back then, anyway. Some of the fanfics are all to thank God I used a pseudonym. But I like it at the time. I got a lot of fulfillment out of it. And plus, I can look back and say with confidence that I've become a better person since then. So I don't forget, I would change anything. I wonder if a few years from now, we'll think the same thing about our current selves. <laughs> probably. That doesn't make you uncomfortable? No, of course not. I don't care what other people think of me. Especially someone who doesn't even exist yet. Mm -hmm. Alright then. Alright, here. Natsuki raises her hand to her face and forcefully slaps her own cheek. Wait. Okay, better. What? What do I do this even? That's me from the future coming to terms with me right now. Also, ow! I didn't mean to do it that hard. It's like... Yuri doesn't seem to react. But then, to Natsuki's surprise, Yuri shyly looks the other 
way before lifting her arm and doing the same thing to herself, loudly smacking her cheek. She turns red and stares into her lap, but it's una but is unable to hide a smile. As though it was a really funny joke. Oh, so that's what I'm talking about. I didn't know you had it in had it in you. I don't I don't even know why I did that. Maybe I thought it would be funny. Sorry, I keep distracting you. You said you were looking forward to reading, but I keep going on about all this nonsense. I'll let you get to your reading. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. Do that then. The conversation ends quickly and Natsuki opens the book. Her book. The two will read silently for the remainder of the lunch hour. But the whole time Yuri feels distracted by a twist of regret of having so abruptly forced the end of their conversation. Hey! Oh, hello! I almost thought you weren't coming today. Yeah, well... Lunch is already more than halfway over. Let's get typical of meeting Yuri in the stairwell much earlier since it had been a good way of dodging her friends when she didn't feel like seeing them. Today, she's holding a large plastic container in both hands. I ran into my friends so I hung out with them for a while. Is that so? Yeah. I was in a good mood today, so I figured I should... I hadn't seen them in a while, which I had to come up with an excuse for, but I expected that. Plus, I have way more of these than I know what to do with, so I figured I would share with them too. As she sits down, as she sits down, Natsuki opens the lid of, the con of her container. You made cupcakes. You know it. It's been a while at this point, so I figured it was about time again. You can take one if you want. Yuri takes the cupcake and carefully twirls it between her fingers. It's brown with dark green frosting here. Immaculately, that's a word I never have seen again. Shaped into a floral pattern and topped with some kind of glittery powder. How pretty. I just ate, so I may not be able to finish it. Are they for the club? Yeah, I guess so. I didn't really think about it, I just made them. Ah, I just thought that because green is Monica's favorite color, right? Well, yeah, but that's not really. Yuri takes a small bite. This is green tea flavored. Mm. I love green tea. Oh, do you? It was just a random idea I wanted to try, so... <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I, I'm, I'm not. I just felt happy. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Your ship went... Never mind. What I mean is that I'm glad. Sorry for saying dumb things again. I just wanted to do something nice. And this is something I happen to be good at. And I do know that you like them from past experience. Hmm. Mary turns around. Recalling the time she treated herself rather generously to Natsuki's cupcake. Ironically, her mouth is too full of cupcake for her to stammer an excuse. So she just settles for a disapproving look. How did you get into bacon? Oh, well, I don't know. It kind of just always appealed to me. <coughs> did you see par? Did you see plus part four? I said nothing else. Well, a few years ago, I read this one manga with a lot of baking, so I got like super into it for a while. I was probably making stuff almost every day. Yeah, C plus part four, please. Thank you. Ah, you're here first today. Mm hmm. And you brought reading material. Mm hmm. Natsuki is sitting in her usual spot, this time holding a volume of manga while her lunch sits beside her. Yuri sits down as well and opens her own book. It sucks when a good series that has to come to an end. Like, it's just a big part of your life and then one day there's just nothing left. It makes you feel so empty. Unfortunately, I'm about to experience it myself. I want the last book of this series. That sucks. 
But that's also, there's also something satisfying about letting a story conclude. I don't know if it wanted to go on forever. Maybe. But there are some things that I wish I could. On the other hand, have you ever read something that overstayed its welcome? Yeah, definitely. I can think of at least one thing I've read that got pretty unbearable like halfway through and the ending really sucked. So it sucks when something good has to end, but it also sucks when they just keep inventing more plot until you don't like it anymore. I guess it sucks either way. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the nature of all things. They come to an end. The two fall silent. They slowly eat while making their way through their respective reading material. Except Natsuki doesn't seem to be touching her for the food. Her food. Her food at all. You don't go out during the weekends, right? Excuse me? Like with friends at a mall or downtown or whatever. I'm not a total shut-in, you know? I mean, yeah, you're in school because a normal shut-in would just be stay at home. So stay at home in their room for eternity. Even, even before the pandemic. Uh, what? Oh, my bad for making assumptions. Well, I'm sure I go out at least less often than other people. Like you and the others in the club. I don't really meet with friends and arbitrarily spend time like that. I'm usually meeting with my board game group. With you. What? You, 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 what? Board game group? Doesn't matter, it's just more nerdy stuff. That's right, so you give me more reasons to like Yuri. And I don't like this because... Ah! Right now my head is, is between I hate her, but I like her. No, it's I like her, but I also hate her. Why do you ask anyway? I was just curious. I just realized that I couldn't picture it, so I was just curious. Yuri looks at Natsuki and realizes... That she's shaking. Don't look at me like that. So, sorry. Let's keep pulls her knees into her chest and puts her head down. I can take this. Did it do something? Yuri gets thrusted, her mind racing over what she may have said or done. I did. I ended it. Oh. I texted them earlier telling them. And then I just blocked them because I'm so afraid of their responses. And now it feels like I'm dying inside. Oh, that's... I'm sorry. All the unsure of what to do, Yuri can barely find any words of support to offer. Meanwhile, the sound of Natsuki's unusually hard breathing fills the air. Then she speaks again, barely above a whisper. Help me. I feel sick and I want to hit my head against things. Please help, I can take this. You may be having a panic attack. With that realization, your demeanor suddenly changes. I I have experience with this. So I'll help you through it, okay? Natsuki meekly nods through her rapid breath, head still buried in her knees. Yuri sets herself over to Natsuki and sits on the step behind her. Then she puts her hands on Natsuki's shoulders. Can you feel my hands? Natsuki nods, her shaking becomes much more apparent through Yuri's sense of touch. Yuri keeps her voice low and gentle. You're safe right now. You're in a good and safe place, where nothing can hurt you. Natsuki nods once more, although Yuri is only touching Natsuki's shoulders. She can practically feel her racing pulse through the base of her neck. We'll do a briefing exercise together. All you have to do is listen to my breathe. Breathe and breathe along. Let's breathe in now. Yuri takes a deep, slow breath. Beneath her hands, she feels Natsuki's shoulders rise as Natsuki takes a breath of her own, trying to mimic Yuri. They exhale together, although Natsuki's breath shakes on the way out. That's good. Let's keep going. Yuri breathes in once more. And Natsuki joins her. They continue like that for a few more cycles, while Yuri closely monitors. Eventually, Yuri feels Natsuki rest more of her weight into Yuri's palms. Let's focus on the physical world. 
All you have to do is focus on the feeling of your breaths going in and out. And the weight of my hands on your shoulders. You're in a safe and comfortable physical space. Minutes pass in silence. Right now the worst of it has passed, but Yuri is determined not to move away until Natsuki prompts her to. Meanwhile Natsuki has lifted her head off her knees and her breathing has mostly steadied. Then she takes a final deep breath and slowly pulls herself to her feet, causing Yuri to let go. She stretches her arms. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to freak you out. We gotta, I don't know how what my deal is. You don't have to apologize. Must be enormously stressful for you. Is it going to keep happening? It, it may or it may not. We can take measures to help prevent it in the future, but I think it will naturally get better over time. Let's give motions to sit back down again, so Yuri moves over. Yuri turns away to pick up her open book from the dusty floor, which she had has hastily set down earlier. She, process, she brushes the dust off the cover. I, I don't think I could have gotten through that alone. You're not alone. Feeling shy again, Yuri speaks into her own lap. From now on, you don't have to do anything alone. As she says that, Yuri tenses up. It's rare for her to so openly share her thoughts. But something about Natsuki, of all people, makes it feel so much more natural to do so. Perhaps because, like Yuri, Natsuki is so timid and uncertain of herself. Natsuki Dutch does such a good job at hiding it that it's taken a long time for Yuri to finally realize it. Because of that, Yuri is able to deliver the reassurance that she herself would have wanted. Demonstrating that you deserve the love of others. If you can accept that for the first time, then perhaps you can begin the tumultuous journey, journey of learning to love yourself. My god, that's a cute picture. Do you really mean that? You're probably gonna regret saying that if I do. How so? Because... I'm probably gonna have a lot of free time during the weekends from now on. You're going... Giving me permission to be as annoying as I want to then drag you around to a lot of places. I see. But you really already said it, so you can take it back now. Ah. Well, I suppose I have no choice but to accept the res that responsibility then. Hmm. I know I got ice cream, please. Oh. That means you'll finally figure out my favorite ice cream flavor. Eh, what are you talking about? Oh, you don't remember? The first day that you came to the club, you guessed everyone's favorite ice cream flavor, but for me you said you had no idea. Was ist your Lieblings heute? Das geht zurück mit den Schultern. Wahrscheinlich grüner Tee. <lacht> ich mache keine Scherze. Keine Ahnung, was hier angeht. You see? I don't remember that at all. Oh, wait, yes, I do. I said that it was probably green tea. Yuri shakes her head. It's a good guess, but my favorite is usually to get chocolate and raspberry together. Chocolate and raspberry? How fancy. I mean, chocolate and raspberry is actually... Yeah. Berries and, berries and chocolate are actually a really good thing. I mean, strawberry and chocolate? Mm. How is that fancy? Oh, I don't know. I feel like I should have guessed something like that. Well, maybe next time I'll try chocolate and strawberry. Hey, strawberry is my favorite. Hmm? What a coincidence. I think it has to have something to look forward to. I still have the sick feeling in my stomach. But it's easier now to convince myself that I 
did the right thing. Is there anything better I could be doing? Not that I know of. There's nothing that will make this easy for me. And you already did more than I thought anyone could. Hmm. Come to think of it, we never talked about the letter you wrote. But I feel like we're way past it at this point. I don't even know what to talk about. Except that I think it helped me understand my needs a little bit better. The way I like to be treated. And the kinds of friends that I want to have. That's why I wanted to start coming here in the first place. Even though I was so scared of causing more problems. I thought... I thought... It was a coincidence that you ran into me here initially. Oh, uh... Well, not exactly. What do you mean? Nothing. You ask Monica. I may have tracked you down first. With the help of Sayori. Of course. That's... But you said, I was shy, okay? I wasn't ready to like, whatever you know what I'm saying. Well, I guess I'm glad that you worked up the courage. Even if it was in your own way. I can tell that you've been making a lot of difficult decisions. It's brave and it will make things better in the long run. I think anyone would be proud of you for it. Anyone? You mean like you? Yes. Like me. Also, my god. Ah, this is too cute somehow. This is too cute. You know, I got to get used to it. As long as, long as you don't tease me too much. Fine. Just a little then. That's fine. I know how uncertain everything feels to you right now. But I really do think that good things are in store. Those are my honest feelings. Thanks. It feels nice to be reassured. Aww. The two girls continued their conversation through the remainder of lunch. But a new feeling hangs in the air. A feeling of great uncertainty in their path forward. In just a few hours, there will be another literature club meeting where the four club members will happily spend time together. Each of them, all of their own special qualities, have something unique that they can deliver to one another. Through friendship and literature, the club members will continue to grow and find new happiness together. The end of each chapter is the start of the next. Yuri thinks to herself, since since she's about to finish her long running series, it would be best to have a new book lined up. And perhaps this weekend would be a good time to visit the bookstore. Together. <laughs>